Do you believe that small creatures with no fighting power can also bring down notorious predators? Those are thorny hedgehogs with top-notch defense mechanisms. So how do they defeat the carnivores? Let's keep an eye on it. Leopards receive tragic end when attacking a hedgehog. Stalking and ambushing is the secret of this leopard success in every hunt. With inherent hunting skills with a leopard succeed, in hunting prey with a high level of difficulty and danger like this porcupine. A family of hedgehogs is moving on the road. Soon after a leopard appears and attacks them. Witnessing the scene we probably all thought that the hedgehog family would become a meal for the leopards. However instead of running away the father hedgehog and mother hedgehog use their bodies to protect the two young children. They work together using sharp spikes to fight the leopard. Unable to do anything about its prey, the leopard gave up and retreated into the bushes. The hedgehog, the family continued to move across the road safely. Leopards are predators with many skills to adapt to many different environments. They can attack prey from tall trees or into the water to catch fish, but these diverse skills also does not help it defeat this thorny prey. Despite possessing sharp claws and outstanding strength, the leopard still could not deal a fatal blow to the hedgehog. Sensing danger, this hedgehog defended and counteracted by spinning sharp spikes at the enemy's body. Faced with the hedgehog's defense, the leopard's two front limbs were severely injured, and it had to give up in the end. The hedgehog blatantly runs away from the predator's Laws. Leopards like to hunt in dusk, like dawn after sunset or when it's completely dark. A successful hunting of a leopard is determined by the accuracy of the possess of tracking, stalking and attacking to defeat the prey. When the leopard catches its prey, it will finish it by biting its throat to cause it to lose blood and suffocate to death. However, the hunts are not always successful. Although only having a body weight of 16 to 20 kilograms, the hedgehog possesses thick and extremely sharp hair. This is the weapon that helps them defend themselves against enemy attacks. The sharp spikes can kill and injure the enemy very badly, so it is only when they cannot hunt that the predators come to an hedgehog. Perhaps the leopard always wanted to try it, his hand at this seemingly dangerous prey. Hedgehogs are known to slow moving animals, but they are dangerous prey that not all predators can easily defeat. Sharp quills can easily snap off and become embedded in flesh. As advantage of defensive weapons, so when threatened, hedgehogs shake these spikes to make a sound to scare away enemies. If this strategy doesn't work, they will turn and run.
Although knowing this is extremely dangerous prey, when the harshness and scarcity of food become severe, leopards still have to risk their lives to hunt porcupines. Although the porcupine counteracted the sharp spikes, but with its flexibility and hunting techniques that have been tempered over time, the leopard successfully defeated its prey. It carries its prey to a safe place where it can enjoy the fruit. Despite being injured by the porcupine's sharp spines, the leopard's calmly spits out one of its mouth. But in order to eat the delicious meat, it requires it to handle all the tough hair of the prey. Although there is evidence the leopards can't determine most porcupine encounters, encounters of this kind are dangerous for both species. Hedgehogs hunting is usually reserved for experienced predators who know how to dodge hedgehogs' formidable defenses, such as attacking the area below the spikes or protecting the head. Witnessing the difficult scene of porcupine hunting, I still can't understand why leopards are so stubborn. It can completely search for other prey that is easier to attack, but the nature of cats is to love to play. Leopards are no exception. The harder it is to defeat, the more they like to conquer challenges. So leopards can spend a lot of time playing with hedgehogs. It can be seen that recklessness sometimes helps leopards get delicious meals, but carelessness and disregard for opponents can also cause them to suffer severe injuries. Hedgehogs are one of the extremely dangerous prey that leopards and other predators need to be wary of and be extremely careful of when intending to attack. Daily life in the wild, natural world is bloody hunting. Carnivores act as hunters and prey will be smaller, weaker species. There is a small but famous hunter with intelligence, the jackal, which can use its young as bait to capture more mature prey. Let's follow along today. Jackal uses baby gazelle as bait to capture mother gazelle. Possessing a small size but very agile, jackal easily defeated the baby gazelle, attacked adult gazelles with ease. This jackal is targeting a gazelle mother-daughter pair. First attacking the young, the cry of pain of the young attracts the mother gazelle which rushes into attack predators the to protect come back the young. Stillnesses. You go, Mom. You're an absolute legend. Confronted with sly and intelligent predators, the mother gazelle cannot prevail. The baby gazelle was eventually killed and the predators brutally attacked the mother gazelle. It had no resistance and could only scream in pain. Jackals attack their prey from many sides. 
They focus on the weak point to make the prey painful to death. Craving for fresh meat is instinctive of carnivores. Jackal is no exception. Immediately after defeating the prey, they immediately tear and eat the meat. Young antelopes are always a target of predators, Jackal being one of them. We often encounter one to two jackals together hunting. But at times of food scarcity, they also often gather in groups to easily survive. With a small body and average weight of 12 kilograms, Jackal often hunts prey of moderate size. If they cannot hunt, they will go to pick up leftovers from larger predators, but this could not satisfy them, because as carnivores, jackal always preferred fresh prey. Predators attack the lost mother antelope. They bite the neck of the prey to kill. The poor young antelope could only cry out in pain and helplessness. With a deadly bite, the prey died tragically under the sharp teeth. The predators swarmed around to tear the carcass and ate the meat deliciously. The predators often ambush and attack their prey by surprise. But jackals usually don't. With their small size, they can move in the grass and make the prey feel they are harmless. So jackal can reach prey easily. Although, although they're not fast, they have amazing endurance. Can maintain a speed of 16 kilometers per hour for a long time. Jackals are stubborn predators. They disturb, they prey to exhaustion. This antelope is a prime example. They can run at the speed of 88 kilometers per hour and jump up to 4 meters high but still cannot run away from the ferocious predators. It was surrounded with no way to escape. The predator runs around attacking the weak point, making it increasingly exhausted. In the end, the gazelle still could not escape death. Such is the fierceness of the wild natural world. All things that we feel cruel are very normal with animals. 
because they seem to understand that every day they have to face cruelty. If they are not strong and lucky, they will become prey. Nature is fierce. In order to survive the animal, not help but fight and hunt. Jackal is no exception. They often have to hunt and confront prey much larger than themselves. Even at times of scarcity, large birds fall prey to jackals. From prey on land, in water, and even in the sky, just a chance of jackal will knock down and eat. Deep life is a battle for survival, fighting for territory, food, mates and fierce battles to protect the armor. The weak will often fall prey to more aggressive species, so to survive the animals must become strong. Today's video comes to an end, please hit the like button and leave your comments below in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to receive the latest notification and now goodbye and see you again.